This piece of the Bay Bridge should be talking about Rocket League. Sorry, we got distracted. St. Edwards going up against Colorado State in the last matchup of the night. Will the entire desk be correct? I believe so. Let's get into the match. Last match of the day. We have the return of St. Edwards versus Colorado State in the West. The comeback begins today, Corelli. Colorado have a win under the belt. St. Edwards, first match of the season. First match of the season, you get to see them back here at St. Edwards. Had a rough go in CRL in CRL's past, but they come out with this new roster. A lot of hype behind this roster. We've seen a lot of power rankings going on in the uh, CRL community, and the St. Edwards squad has been near the top. They are very well acquainted with some of the top teams in CRL, and we're going to see during this league play if they're going to live up to it. Feels like a lot of the teams today, the ones that were supposed to win on paper, that the desk predicted to win, did not win. I think we'll the desk kind of trolled today, I'm not going to lie. I think yeah, I'm not, you know, we might have been on that, I'm well, not going to lie. We didn't have to say that part, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, i got to be honest, but oh, nah. that was almost oh, well, got that second touch, that was sick. I'm not going to point fingers at myself, okay. Okay, you can do it to me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I roped you into it, but... So, St. Edwards, you know, to reiterate, they're the favorites here, but with shots coming in like that from Colorado, I'm a bit worried. Well, Colorado's a fine team, don't get me wrong here. I think uh, Colorado's going to be a tough team to beat. Got a lot of experience uh, on this side, especially in competition, H in particular. Got that RLCS regional finalist tag. And I think that, you know, they're going to have to bring everything. Uh, when it comes to experience against this team like St. Edwards. There have been a couple of these players have been around for a long time. Dino, he's got that Rival Series Season 4 Challenger. That's an old, old tag years ago now. Finally getting to that college age here on his college team. It's really cool to see players kind of grow uh, in the community and, and then get to college and, you know, they still get to have a career like this. And you're seeing St. Edwards also grow on the field. Like, Wellis had a nice pass, nice attempt, just accuracy. An issue for St. Edwards at the moment. Now with Wellis gone, their defense is also in trouble. This could bounce in the box, but Drew's quick to climb up there. Ball slow drop down, and this is a quicker counter attack. Wellis on it has boost to work with. Collides with Vigil. May not seeing that threat level there, or at least St. Edwards wanting to commit to keeping them trapped there. But with Drew removed, I like that there's some time being wasted there from St. Edwards. But here comes Vigil, and Drew sends it away. Pressure holding on to possession there. Really haven't seen the same control that I would want from St. Edwards, but this uh -oh. one comes right from the box. You can't miss that one, Dino. You cannot miss that one. Wide open and a great little pass. Look at that pass on from Drew. I don't know how he got the flick on there. Well, it's just had to put it across the box. Dino, they had to tap at home, but what a touch from Drew. And just something unexpected too from H just to have the ball in that corner position. And we saw the St. Edwards. We're ready to strike, so 1-0 for St. Edwards. Are we going to have a 3-up type of day? You see the equalizer from Colorado looming, and Vigil's putting on the pressure. Ari turns it around, but a 50 force by Wellis goes to the corner. St. Edwards can breathe. This Colorado State team, they've had ups and downs with this roster throughout the last couple of years. They're trying to put one together here that's going to be competitive against St. Edwards, and Vigil are going to put away Colorado State's first here. Just a quality shot as Drew kind of gave it up to him. Was trying to buy some time for himself. I don't think that was the touch he wanted when it went into the corner. Either way, Vigil able to take advantage of Colorado State, able to fight back. Yeah, just when uh, St. Edwards were comfortable, thought they had a clear, just H is there, but the challenge turned the play on its head. Here's Ari, not wanting to maybe point that towards the net. Tucking it to the corner where no one was ready. Dangerous cross in front of the box. Ari's there to keep guiding it out of dangerous path. It's 1-1 game going into the second half with Vigil missing. And now the drive begins for St. Edwards, but it's sent right back. And maintaining possession has been an issue for St. Edwards, but at least they're quick to react because you never know who, what Colorado are thinking. And Colorado State's doing a good job controlling the sidewall here. You know, you're seeing St. Edwards just kind of blast it downfield trying to find that point man, but... Colorado State is not letting them have it. Good control, good read on the play as well. Another quality quick tackle from Vigil. Bump the players around, creating a little bit of chaos, a little misdirection here. Ari's shot's going to be weak. The defense of St. Edwards trying to break out from their own end. At least Colorado putting stuff on target. So although it's weak, 
You never know what kind of mistakes can happen in CRL, but Wellis wanted to send this one all the way down, and Colorado's defense was ready, but so is St. Edwards. They send it right back to an open net! St. Edwards with the lead! Drewy finding some space here on the right side. Wellis takes a one-time touch towards the net. Ari can't get back in time. And with a minute left on the clock, St. Edwards back into the lead. Wellis is just doing so much work. Three shots, three saves, one goal. And one of the stars of UNLV with that World Championship experience, bringing this to a team that I think desperately needed it with how they ended 2022. Colorado can still fight their way back. Just possession in front of the box is a little sketchy. Yari gets dunked on. Oh, Wellis, you did it to him. Wellis, the man to watch here for St. Edwards. And again, coming through, that's a huge whiff. And Wellis is there to put it home. It's some disaster, a disaster touch rather from Colorado State, or maybe the non-touch as St. Edwards have quickly flipped this game on its head. It was close. In the last 40 seconds now, St. Edwards breaking out into a lead. You know, but at least for the first time, I feel like I haven't cast or cursed somebody. I was just talking about Wellis, <laughs> saying nice things about him, and then he scores right after. So that, that never happens to it's me. It's a blessing yeah, now. It's a blessing. 30 seconds, or should I talk about someone from Colorado? Uh -oh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if you want this one to keep going, you might have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, H, <laughs> you have 17 seconds. You got that RLCS APAC experience. Wrong player, but good attempt from Vigil. They got 10 seconds, and you see some signs of life out of Colorado when time slips away. But an exciting game still with St. Edwards leading the series now 1-0. Yeah, and, and this one, if you're Colorado State, this was a fine game one. It got out of hand. I mean, it's only a two-goal difference, but it got out of hand really quickly with the back-to-back -back goals. But you were playing St. Edwards quite closely here. Uh, I wouldn't be too ashamed if I'm Colorado State, but as we always talk about in RLCS, and we say it here in CRL more and more, is that first game is kind of that feeler game where you're, you're trying to figure out your competition, what they're bringing today, what players are capable of, especially this combination of players, what they're capable of. And I think St. Edwards about to turn up the heat here in game two as they would normally do. And Colorado State, they're going to have their work cut out from them. If this was their best look, <clears throat> excuse me, they're going to have to, they're going to have to switch it into another gear going later into this series. Yeah, I don't know what granny shifter, what this title means from Ari, but at least the title from Wellis makes sense. Technical. For, I mean, the second goal that Edwards, St. Edwards had was that kind of pass redirect from Wellis that goes all the way downfield. Beautiful, accurate. And then Wellis shows up to punish Ari, kind of fumbling the bag in front of the box or in front of the net to cost Colorado State another goal. So I think if Wellis is going to continue to be that technical, dependable guy, then this could be an easy series for St. Edwards. You're saying your grandma doesn't drive a stick? Oh, is that what that means? I thought that meant like <laughs> you're so. shifting them know. around, like you're rearranging their grandmothers. I don't know what this title means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think it means the grandma driving stick shift, oh, I'm pretty sure. That doesn't seem like a positive title to have, but <laughs> either way. <laughs> Leave the grannies alone. <laughs> Grandmas across the world are... are are offended. <laughs> <laughs> They're asleep right now. It's all good. Yeah. Along with the other 24-year-olds. That that's exists. right. <laughs> right. Imagine not being us, 30. That's got to be old. Yeah, we're so <laughs> not that age. Surprise. <laughs> Whoa, Wellis, what are you doing? Off the cross. Nobody's home. Dino is too far forward. But, Wellis, you did look cool doing it. Hold on a second. H has an opportunity here. That's a big miss by Dino, but... Still, opportunities here for Colorado State playing across the St. Edwards side. I mean, St. Edwards is letting them in. It's not like St. Edwards is out here just crushing Colorado State. It really is in on Colorado State to execute when the opportunity is there. Hmm. Let's see what Drew is up to. Wellis bumping Vigil around, but it's H that catches the ball, tucks it into the corner, but with no boost, he's going to need some help. And at least he's still able to tip it forward for Vigil to start a play. Now he's got two people on him when it comes to St. Edwards. Not letting Colorado have the freedom, but this is a dangerous drop in front of the net. Drew carries it away. Look out for Drewy. He's going to put this one in midfield. Dino trying to put that one through. As St. Edwards. Okay, trying try to get their offense going there, but you can see Colorado State kind of punched him off the ball. Now Dino comes through. 
Taylor okay, Edwards again, posturing upfield as Drewy's touch, I think, went a little bit away from him. That's not what he wanted. And Vigil trying to push through. Dino has a quality challenge. Drewy goes up for it, and Wellis has to receive as the last man and is not able to get through the Colorado State defense. Yeah, it feels like these touches from Colorado State are, are just to survive, but not really thrive. But look at what St. Edwards are doing. They're knocking on the door, getting real threatening, picking up speed. Wellis gets above the one defender, but can't drop down in front of the net. Not with Ari there. Now Ari can maybe produce something after costing a previous goal. And I am seeing a lot more motivation from Colorado to move downfield. They're not going to let St. Edwards bully them around. H with a bullet cross net, but no one there to produce anything out of it. Highly contested midfield between these two teams right now. A lot of balls popping up. H trying to get a read on this one. Doesn't. Drew, we can't get the touchdown. Dino's shot was there, but it was taken away for a moment by Wellis. Now Drewy again, a flip reset towards the goal. Doesn't get the dunk either. St. Edwards turning up the heat, but they aren't putting things on target. Finally, one on target Ooh. is denied. And still in the hands of Wellis. Drewy can he redirect it back to Wellis. Wellis shot on target. It's still denied. Ari, can I get in front of this one? And H, I mean, took a risk to get out of the net, look for demos, and that started to relieve the pressure. And also the trust that Colo Colorado State have to have just those two defenders and to block three shots out of St. Edwards is insane. We're in the second half now with still a 0-0 score. Seven shots for St. Edwards, only two from Colorado. But the defense holds strong. Maybe that's what will matter at the end of the day. Dino can't Whoa. cut the angles, crosses to the left, but no one from St. Edwards is home to maybe keep the rebound going. But you see that St. Edwards still have some fight in them. They move back to the midfield. Okay. This goes to Wellis off the cross. Dino climbs high, pops it to the ceiling, but St. Edwards don't really believe in the play. They do step up. Colorado State in shambles, now demoed as well. Dino gets ready for the drive, but Vigil with the 50 is starting to slow things down. Drewy shot on target, oh. will go through, top right slot, and finally, after 10 shots from St. Edwards, it had to be perfect from Drewy, and it was. It's basically unsavable with a shot and a bounce like that. Finally are able to break through. Colorado State, you gotta give them a little bit of credit there for staying afloat for as long as they did, but they were not gonna get out of that one without giving up a goal. St. Edwards on top. It's as soon as I stop talking, they just start scoring. And, <laughs> and all the St. Edwards fans want me to be quiet after that one. But man, Colorado State, their defense held strong, but their offense has been so quiet, inexistent throughout this match, but it only take one and Ari misses the touch, giving Dino some space to work with and Vigil's always the one who can make up for those mistakes and go toe to toe with some of these players and not make it an easy play for St. Edwards, who now believe that pressure, they go back to defense. Dino steps up, but he's got two people from Colorado State on him. This is difficult for St. Edwards to command that space that they did before. Dino got a demo here, so some space opened up. There's a shot again. It was top <laughs> right, but Wellis this time goes a bit wide. Still one goal difference. H trying to make the difference here in the last 15 seconds. Maybe Colorado State can find the equalizer. Vigil off the ceiling isn't going to find another touch. It's straight into the defense and a great touch by Wellis. Drewy gonna run out the clock here on this air dribble. He drops it down while a shot on target is denied by Vigil. And now into zero second time, Colorado State has to keep it up. Such a close game though, and it's in the blue end. You have to travel far. Oh my. It's the corner, but Vigil off the ceiling. Ori what? keeps it going. H at least pops it up. But Surely. now it's in the hands of St. Edwards, who can do whatever they want. They still want more goals, but this there gives a is. chance, finally, for this to land on the ground. But St. Edwards had to keep the rally going to get the one goal they needed to win game two. And they go to match point. Oh, man, 13 shots for St. Edwards. And, I mean, it does kind of tell you the story on how this game operated because St. Edwards were all over Colorado State and Colorado State didn't even get like, I mean, they got seven saves. That's a decent amount, but it wasn't like Colorado State was making a ton of saves. 
St. Edward's shots, I feel like, were going well a little bit wide on a lot of these, and it just made it feel like Colorado State was making the saves, but you can see in the replays, some of them going wide. Wellis there taking away a shot from Dino. Another huge save there from Ari, but still, uh, you know, things bouncing off the crossbar in these replays for St. Edward's. I mean, it was just a, a mixed bag of everything, right? If, if They hit every post. Right, every save was made. It, every shot went wide, but in the end, that pressure was enough to at least crack the egg once. And St. Edwards are able to go up 2-0 here in this series. I, I still think there are improvements from Colorado State. You know, if you do squint hard enough, I think Ari had a big turnaround game in game two. Tons of saves, most amount of shots. Colorado State now have to pray for the reverse sweep, being down 0-2 in this series. And St. Edwards, I mean. You and I, the desk, felt comfortable predicting them just with, on paper, this is a team that should succeed. Now with their return in CRL, they're trying to assure that. We'll see how Colorado State does to try and at least make this series close, which I think they did in game two, at least score was. Yeah, I mean, the expectations are very high for St. Edwards, but when you get into like the top 10, it, it turns into a little bit of a bag. A lot of people don't really know exactly where to put them, but they certainly, have those expectations to be in the top 10 and right now acting like it love to see them score a lot more goals but you can see the output of the offense here is a shot free dino wants the top right again and that one was well wide while well it's just helped it along its way it was still going to go wide without the touch and we still stay scoreless yeah drew we okay well read at that midfield but Ari just crashes and burns and now the ball is a wild ball going out towards the orange end and not something Colorado could capitalize on. Vigil has to make a save in the nets. And now he needs some help. That's where H steps up with a long clear. Now Colorado, do they contest the corner? They're trying their best to challenge it. Vigil right to the box, but that's exactly where St. Edwards were waiting. Good bumps coming out from Colorado State as well, just taking a player completely out of the play. Got to capitalize. Only, only one shot from Colorado State. Willis off the corner and two go. Vigil and Ari. Not the best touch from Ari either. And now danger here for Colorado State. Willis off the backboard. Second touch is good. He'll put it home. And a 1-0 lead for St. Edwards. Makes the magic happen. And in a similar fashion as previous games, capitalizing on weak touches out of Colorado and great control off the back wall to redirecting this into the net. So St. Edwards. Better be Divine Wellis dinner tonight, or I don't know how late it is where they are, but St. Edwards have a lead, and at least it didn't take as much work as it did in game two. But that's because Colorado are having their mistakes exposed more and more. They're not necessarily able to find some on the St. Edwards end. And still, it is just a one-goal game for Colorado State. Now, I remember saying after game one that it wasn't really a bad game for them, even though they lost by two. It wasn't a horrible game from there. They were able to have some pressure as they are here. We've got to find more shots, though. Only two to their name. That one just blasted off the backboard. No follow-up for Colorado State. We've got plenty of time. You can't let, you know, the, the series score get in your head too much. You're in this one still. But maybe not for long as St. Edward's trying to ramp up. That's a great touch, though, by H. And see what the St. Edward defense does with it. Now Ari trying to force it through. He had all three of St. Edward's in front of him. Just one pinging off the ceiling. Another awkward ball inside the box. Ari's going to go. This is his chance. Shot on target. No one's home. And Colorado State find the equalizer. Finally, Colorado are putting themselves in good positions. And to climb that high, to angle it when it's hovering through the left side, a lot of Colorado shots have been down low and easily saveable. But finally, Ari's able to make up for that. Finding the rebound, finding Colorado's equalizer to give them maybe a second life in this series. And now he's out for blood. Vigil has the ball, Dino is missing, Wellis is now gone. St. Edwards in disarray, seeming able to collect themselves as Vigil's getting shoved around the ball. Ari gives a chance for H. They get the second touch, but it's not on target. And look how much time Colorado State is spending on this St. Edwards side. St. Edwards is kind of ball chasing now, all three diving in the corner there. They're going to get a demo, but this pressure from Colorado State is good. We talked about them needing shots, and they've got five now. A passing play coming. Vigil trying to push this one down the line with H. 
But a minute 40 left on the clock, and again, like we said before, Colorado State, they're in this. They're not getting crushed by this St. Edward squad. This is a winnable game for them. Oh, Wellis. <laughs> He's kind of scooping it up underneath that member, Drewy, setting somebody up to just tap it in, but not wanting to overcommit and give Colorado any chances to come back. Instead, St. Edwards know they're the better team. They kept trying to score at the zero second mark in game two. And now they have them trapped, almost a rule one there. But either way, Ari is just literally on top of Wellis. And now Drewy could have a free drive. He's up against H. Oh, what a tackle. Well read. Just a stalemate on that tackle, too. He hit him hard. Less than a minute now. Colorado State trying to find that posture on offense. That one almost got over Drewy. Wellis was there, but good from St. Edwards to still stay down the field here. Drewy trying to find someone across. You can see how deep, though, St. Edwards is sitting. Everyone win from Colorado State on this ball. You have to be careful to not overcommit in the waning seconds here. Ari trying to play this one across. Vigil not going to let it out for free. Colorado State trying to put something together, and finally Dino will deny. Good connections, though, from Colorado. All three members committed forward. They had some passes. They were fighting for more possession, even when St. Edwards were getting these touches. So there's potential for Colorado State there. But how did they survive this defense? Now that St. Edwards have the ball, Drewy dribble to Wellis in the 50. That almost goes to the upper 90. Now this is sent all the way down. A few more seconds. Last play. Whoa. Or we go to OT. It lands on the ground. Let's see what Colorado State is made of here. Six shots to their name. They've done well to put on the pressure. Now it's time to convert and extend this series. Oh, Vigil. Long clear. H knows that Drury's in position. Can go for the bomb, can steal it. And this is anyone's game. Do we get the sweep? Colorado stay alive! Oh. And he shot the cross! I can't believe it! He's gonna kick himself for that one, but Ari's still back, ready for whatever St. Edwards is gonna throw right back at them. H not letting this be easy for St. Edwards. Now the fight begins in the corner for the ball. Two members of St. Edwards extending, thinking they could win it, giving some space to Colorado. Ooh, that's a weak touch from Wellis. H comes from the left, and it's not the angle he wanted. Yeah, it was weak from Wellis because he, he was trying to bring that one down. Didn't really get it out clean. Now, a big miss from Drew. The opportunity here for Vigil. Could he get back to it? H win as well. It's just Ari back. St. Edwards had an opportunity for a counter. A demo will come out, and it's just Wellis on the ball. Everyone gets back for Colorado State. Ari get the demo on Wellis, and we keep going. It was a good early challenge against Wellis, too. You don't want him to start dribbling. You don't want him to get a foot reset. You gotta stop him before he thinks. And at least maybe that's what Colorado <laughs> need to do is more thinking. And I think that's what's helped him a lot in game three. Drewy up, he's up high. Ari off the back wall ready. Dino set up on the left to keep the play going. But Vigil's not gonna let this even touch the left post. Ari now missing. Relieves that maybe counterattack that Colorado were brewing up as we enter almost two minutes into OT. Dino to the corner to Drewy oh. and the bounce. Well read, oh, but that no. was dangerous. And no one's home for the rebound. St. Edwards take the sweep. St. Edwards take him down in three. That's a rough bounce, but Ari trying to get back to it and just could it in time. St. Edwards finally able to break the deadlock here in three games in this overtime. And if you're Colorado State, I mean, this one goes down as a sweep, but boy, did they play them close. This is not a shameful loss by Colorado State. It just, man, that last bounce was brutal for him. Yeah, Colorado State definitely improved over time and connected well on offenses. In terms of generating threat level, like be, having more powerful shots, you know it kind of just how some weak shots came in or they were more angled down low, easily savable. And I think if you're able to pass, all you got to do is work on those mechanics that can really crack through a difficult team like St. Edwards. And we could see Colorado State climb back uh, in the standings. But St. Edwards, we noted on paper, they, they seem like a team with the experience to pull through here today and took a lot more work than maybe they expected, than we expected, but uh, a win's a win. Win's a win. And listen, I mean, a win's a win when you have a lot of expectation on you as yeah. well. Uh, and that's, and that's a, a tough thing for 
for St. Edwards. And again, you know, like some people don't, we don't really know exactly where we want to put St. Edwards in like power rankings, but we know they're, they're going to be top 10, right? We know that they're, uh, at least that's the expectation from us. They're at least a top 10 caliber team. So uh, for St. Edwards, you have to get through series like this where you're going to play, you know, a team like CSU where, you know, no one's putting them in their top 10 right now, but they played them close. I mean, that was a that was a pretty good series from, from Colorado State. It's just, you know, I mean, St. Edwards, they, they had just a higher quality team overall. And they, and they showed that with the offense, with the pressure that they got. Uh, but still, these were very close games coming out from Colorado State. No shame in losing that one. And I'm excited to see the future of St. Edwards with just how well they played today and, and getting the sweep. Back in 2022, they were at the bottom of league play. And take it a win here, it's just one step to not being at the bottom. You just got to beat that high score. Season after season, you get better. And this is what this league is all about. Well, that's the end of our date. But let's hear from the desk about maybe getting some predictions right.